Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here on this Saturday afternoon. I hope everybody is having a great day. Um, I uh, am back, of course, from the vacation, and it's time to get back to work. And before I get into admitting how I was so wrong with everybody else, and I'm curious to see if anybody else admits their mistakes as well as I did. Um, First thing, Joe Boo. Joe Boo has been looking sad. He's been, look, look, look at Joe Boo. He's leading us sideways. And I'm sorry, Joe Boo. I, I forgot to take Joe Boo with me. And I'm trying to make amends as we sit here 89 days, six hours, 18 minutes away from kickoff of the 2023 season. It's coming fast and hard, guys. It's coming fast and hard. So, Joe Boo, I apologize for not taking you with me, but. I got you a little bonus here, buddy. Not one, but two sets of Cuban cigars. I got the Robustos and the Habaneros for you, Jobu. We have these to add to your collection of cigars for the season. But wait, there's more. While I was there, you know, this is what I always love is they have cowboy stuff there okay now th- granted this is not nfl licensed cowboys gear but i have a big one now i got a small one and look but wait there's more they even give you mexican newspapers so you can read look i got a mexican newspaper to read sexy news but look we got little baby ones, little baby ones for Joe Boo. Look at that. We got a whole fit. Look, we've got three sizes of these. Uh, isn't that cool? Yeah, okay, Joe Boo, I'm sorry. Uh, Joe Boo, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It, it, it's been it's been very very busy here, getting uh, life taken care of, trying to work on the red brick house and getting ready for the season and keeping the wife happy. You know, we all want to keep the wife happy. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know what? When you're if you're going to kill them when they make mistakes, okay? Then you need to praise them when they get shit right. That's the honest truth. If you're going to kill them when they do something wrong, then you've got to give them praise when they get something right. And I was like everybody else when we were going through the shit that we were going through last year. Listening to, you know, knowing we lost Randy Gregory and Lyle Collins, you know, and Connor Williams and, of course, Amari Cooper and Cedric Wilson. You know, looking back, hindsight is twenty twenty. It's easy to be a Monday morning quarterback. But nobody's actually giving credit to the Joneses because you'll remember when it was El Paso on Randy Gregory when he signed a a five-year, $75 million deal. Five years, $75 million deal. And you heard Stephen Jones say, you know, from a production standpoint, he's right there with Randy Gregory. And everybody's like, are you smoking crack? In fact, I'm going to go ahead and I'll I'll admit it. This is where I was. Now, mind you, I'm a year older than I was then. But I have to say that I, I don't look quite as stressed. Look at I it. am disgusted. Disgusted. I am a little thinner in the face. A little, put a little more. Put a little more on on the crease. I, I the don't hair looks know better. How to put into words what you get from Stephen Jones these days. Mm-hmm. Stephen Jones has taken over Jerry Jones's Tuesday slot, where you know used to be that we would always get <laughs> Jerry Jones um, isms. And things where you'd go, hmm. It used to be that Stephen Jones was the quiet one. It used to be when Stephen Jones spoke that you could believe what he was saying. You actually used to think that Stephen Jones was the sane one here in here. That we had the good cop and bad cop. But it's appearing more and more that Stephen Jones doesn't have a clue. Stephen Jones, you know, today, 105 The Fan, we're still, you know... uh, getting all the gist of all the things that he's said today and just trying to understand this and realize when Jerry's gone, we're in trouble. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 
Stephen Jones is trying to sugarcoat everything that's gone on this off season. Okay. He's literally going through and trying to tell us that the Cowboys are actually in better shape now than they were last year. As far as You're player personnel, he's trying to basically pee on your head and tell you it's raining and that the loss of Randy Gregory, that, you know, that was no big deal. He's saying that Dorrance Armstrong, that, that they're the same guy. He, he is. Now, I'm not going to say that Dorrance Armstrong may not become a really good player. He's had flashes. And to be told, Randy Gregory and Dorrance Armstrong had about the same amount of snaps. Now, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to give, you know, try and do this as fair as possible here. These are, shout out to Pro Football Focus, um, their player comparison. And this is great because we can actually compare apples to apples here. So in 13 games, Dorrance Armstrong played in one more game than Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory was the starter. Dorrance Armstrong actually had more solo tackles. But you have to understand that Randy Gregory got upfield more. So actual quarterback hits, Randy Gregory had 17 versus 12 for Dorrance Armstrongs. And pressures are like two to one. I'm not going to say that Dorrance Armstrong isn't a decent player. He is. But if you're saying that that's the same, that these things are too equal, you don't have a clue as to running a football team and should be nowhere near running the team. It may end up working out for the Cowboys that Dorrance Armstrong ends up being a great player. I can't say that he won't. But at this moment, where we are at this moment, you can't equate that. And if you are looking from this, the standpoint of saying, oh, well, just, you know, we can just throw a defensive end in here, then you're not an evaluator of talent. And you don't know the difference of what a Damn. true edge rusher can do for you. Hence, you shouldn't be making the calls for the team. So when you go through and just the statement that he made earlier, it, it was like, ah, you know, like in the water boy. You know, every time ah, that she would start talking about ah, listening to myself, and she'd go, ah, ah, my hand hurts. When I listen to Stephen Jones, it's like, ah, ah, my hand hurts. Because the more he speaks, the less faith you have. In fact, Stephen Jones, the best thing you could do is not say anything. Because the more you talk, it's like Mike McCarthy. The dumber you Okay. I think we've killed that guy enough because, wow, I'm going to say, Stephen Jones, I apologize. I'm an idiot because you were you were 100% right on Randy Gregory. Because if we go back and look at this, understand, I'm sorry, I, I made another mistake because I said 75. It was a $70 million deal. Five-year, $70 million contract for Randy Gregory. That was a $10 million signing bonus, $28 million guaranteed, and an average of $14 million. So, and he had a $16 million cap hit. And basically, that was the same deal that we had set up for the Cowboys, basically, with just a clause added to it. But as, again, as I put up last year, where we were looking at Dorrance Armstrong versus Randy Gregory, the numbers are a lot closer than they were back then. Dorrance Armstrong, for one thing, has been in the league a lot less time. And if we actually go up here, you see that Dorrance Armstrong has actually played in 76 games versus 56 for Randy Gregory. Although Randy Gregory has been in several years longer, your best ability is your availability. But right now, Dorrance Armstrong is only two and a half sacks away from Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory's had about 300 more snaps in his career. Now, Randy Gregory, when healthy and not suspended, is a menace on the field. But as you start to look at the numbers um, between the two of them, you start to realize that maybe Stephen Jones really wasn't that far off. Having Dorrance Armstrong, who had a bigger sack year last year, having eight and a half sacks is two and a half sacks more than the two best seasons that Randy Gregory's ever had. And you start looking at that and saying, maybe we're just scratching the surface. Now, I will also put in there 
He also, but let me be clear here. Dorrance Armstrong benefited also for a couple of things last year. One, having Micah Parsons on the other side and having playing on a better defense. When you have good players around you, that makes you better by being there as opposed to being one good player on a defense. We just look and say, we have to stop that guy and we're good. And that's why you see a guy like Dante Fowler, who with Atlanta, people figured he's done. He was the best player on their line. So that was the guy who got the focal point of all of the work. He comes to Dallas and he looks miles away better. And that's because of being on a better defense. So you have to also preface it that Dorrance Armstrong um, getting better opportunities because of having a Micah Parsons out there. Everybody is better on the defense because of a Micah Parsons. However, when you think about Randy Gregory's cap number of $14 million a year with $28 million guaranteed versus Dorrance Armstrong, who signed a two-year deal, two-year deal, and his cap number for this year is only $7.2 million, half of Randy Gregory's. You look at that and say, hmm, that's pretty good. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with him after this season. They do have a voidable year um, that is a prorated bonus of $1.5 million. I'm not sure exactly how that would work, that voidable year, because there's actually no money left on the contract because it was a two-year, $14 million contract. And it has on there a voidable year where they can basically tuck part of the um, contract in there. They will need to sign him for another year after the end of this year, in which case he will be commanding more money. But then this brings up the conundrum of do you go ahead and pay him an astronomical amount, a much bigger amount than what he was getting before, or do you let him go into free agency and possibly get yourself a compensatory pick? Hmm. The thing that's kind of interesting when you start looking at this is it seems like the Cowboys, for the most part, have been better off letting some of these guys go than paying the exorbitant amount of money to keep them. Definitely was this right move to let Randy Gregory go and not pay him that $14 million cap hit. Um, and keeping Dorrance Armstrong. If you believe that you have somebody like Stephen Jones did that is like in production, well, Stephen Jones, you were right. I was wrong along with a whole lot of other people, so I wasn't the only one. So, you know, when you see something out there and just remember. you like me now, me now, me now. Actually, that was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. It was supposed to be, don't believe the hype. But maybe we should just go with this one. Mark Holmes, 